What's going on guys, Nick here and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna show you how you can create this. And what's this? That's an LED that is on when your internet connection is working fine and off when your internet connection is offline. It's super simple and cheap to make, so let's begin. Okay, so here is everything we are gonna need for today's little project. As you can see, there are no that many components needed. Uh, first of all, we need an Arduino. Doesn't matter which one, uh, because all of them will do the job. We need an, uh, an LED. Doesn't matter which color, you can use whatever color you want. And we need also a current limiting resistor. I'm using a 1K if I remember correctly, but uh, just use a small one. Even if you don't use a resistor at all for limiting the current, I think you will be fine. Uh, another component that I advise you to use, but if you don't have it, it's fine, is this small capacitor. This one is uh, 100 microfarads, and I'm using it to reduce the spikes in the power rails. But again, if you don't have one, it's fine. Just don't use one. I guess you'll be fine. Um, the brain of today's project is this little buddy. This is uh, the ESP8266-01 board with eight pins. Um, another thing you will use is, you will need for today's project is uh, some jumper wires. I'm using some female to male jumper wires, as you can see, to make my life easier. But again, we will use this just for testing. You might just solder the, wa the wires on the board later on if you don't if you don't want to use jumper wires. And now, another thing we need is to actually power the project. And there are multiple ways to do this. Uh, this little board uses, it needs three volts uh, to work properly. Be careful, don't use five volts because five volts will kill this. Again, be careful, only 3.3 volts if you use this exact board when you're trying to make this project again. And the way I, I will uh, power this board is very simple. I'm gonna use an old uh, USB cable, which uh, the one, the one end, as you can see, is already missing. And I will, I will connect this to this little buddy. And what this is, is a small back boost converter. And it can give us exactly 3.3 volts, or exactly three volts, uh, if we use this uh, little potentiometer here. I hope you can see it. So that's how I'm gonna power today's project. If you wanna use an Arduino to program the ESP8266, uh, the easiest way to do it is to completely bypass the chip and use it, on, use it only as a programmer. And the way you can do this is by setting by connecting the reset pin directly to ground that's what i've done here with this little wire now let's move on to the breadboard uh, it's very simple to do use a jumper wire to connect the ground rail to a ground and then use another jumper wire to connect the positive rail to 3.3 volts Again, if you have the capacitor, use it, just in the power rails. And now we're gonna connect the ESP to the circuit. This is very easy to do. I found multiple videos online about how to program this little board, but all of them, they use components that they are not really needed, like uh, some voltage dividers, more capacitors, some buttons, and they made the process too difficult, which isn't. And I'm gonna show you how you can program this board without that much effort. So, 
uh, of course we connect ground to ground we connect uh, positive to 3.3 volts we connect TX to TX and RX to RX not TX to RX, be careful uh, since we're not using the chip it's we're just connecting TX to TX and RX to RX uh, many people are confused while connecting these two pins so that's another tip for you if you, if you need it uh, our output uh, will be GPIO2 which in case is this, this little like purple pinkish wire I'm connecting this one directly to the one end of the resistor and the other end goes to the positive lead of the LED so we have two more pins left one is uh, the chip, uh, chip power down which is in this case this grey one which needs to always be in 3.3 volts in order to work properly for the chip to work properly and we also have this wire which is GPIO0 and this wire is a bit tricky because if you are trying to program the board uh, it needs to be low it needs to be connected to ground but if you are trying to just run your code it needs to be high so uh, now that we are trying to program the board I'm going to connect it to ground directly to ground here is how all the connections look like nothing very special and you will also find the circuit diagram in the description of the video to make you do the connections even easier now that we've connected the uh, board successfully let me show you uh, how to program it so this is the sketch that you will need to program into the board in order to complete today's project which you will be find in the video description of course uh, it's very simple as you can see it's only 40 lines of code and everything is very simple uh, at the beginning you need to put your Wi-Fi creden credentials here and basically what it does is it pings Google it connects to Google as you can see in this case I'm using google.co.uk because I'm in the UK but you can use whatever website you trust or you think it's uh, available the most I think Google is always online so that's why I chose Google here and, and that's it it connects if it's connected it prints that uh, you know I'm connected and it uh, lights up the LED our LED and if it's not connected it prints that connection failed and it uh, turns the LED off every one second so that's it it's very basic and here you can also use like uh, you can put your uh, your website and you can check with this LED you can check uh, if your website is uh, online so that's another way of using this project and I don't know you can just check if it's online or if it's not okay so I've put my Wi-Fi credentials here in the sketch and you need to do one thing before you hit the upload button and that's to make sure that the GPIO 0 is connected to ground and what you need to do now is to completely disconnect the power as you can see the LED is off because there is no power in the circuit and you want to hit upload and after after the IDE compiles and starts uploading that's when you need to put the power back on so right after you see uploading in the Arduino IDE you need to connect the power back in place let me show you how I'm doing this okay compiling and now that I'm seeing uploading I'm just connecting the board to 3 volts and as you can see here it's uploading 
35% takes a bit to upload because this is now an old board 100% and now if we open the serial monitor we should see something yep setup done connected and that's why the LED is on now let me quickly disconnect the internet from my uh, access point and we will see what will happen I've now disconnected the wire from the access point so we should see the LED going off and as you can see the LED is off and the serial monitor says that connection failed so that's it now next step it is to put everything into an enclosure and get rid of the Arduino and of course power everything up. Since this video is getting longer than it should be you will find uh, the next steps of this project in part 2. Also the code and the circuit diagram for this project they are down in the description box uh, if you need them. So thank you very much for tuning in today please make sure to hit that like button if you liked the video and to also subscribe to my channel to see my future videos. If you have any questions, uh, leave them down in the comment section and also check out my Patreon page. See you in part 2!